Let's just run our transaction detail report now, which is not a report that we often provide to the client, but it's a great report for internal reporting and we might use it for billing as we've discussed in the past. So I'm gonna right click on the tab up top and duplicate it. And let's first, I'm gonna look at the trial balance and then our transaction report. So we're gonna go to the reports on the left-hand side and then I'm gonna close this up, open up the trial, well, I'm gonna go to the standard reports open up the trial balance, the trusty trial balance, and then run that from 010123 to 022823, run it. And so this is where we stand as of this point in time. So if you're checking your numbers, you can check them to this report. This is not a typical report that we provide to the client because it's got debits and credits. And the whole point is to try to use the debits and credits to make the final product, but not give them debits and credits because they don't understand the debits and credits and maybe we don't typically need to fully understand the debits and credits but it's still a useful uh report the debits and credits are actually a, a, a more a more quicker and easier way to look at things a lot of times uh actually as you can see with this report being a lot more streamlined than the balance sheet and income statement themselves in a lot of ways so <clears throat> let's now then right click again i need some coffee my voice is my voice is going, don't do it voice, don't go, don't go. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And then we're going to say for my accountant. So we got the general, the journal report and we which is a similar report transaction list by date. That's the one we're going to take a look at. It's a little bit more streamlined than the journal report. Let's open that up. I'm going to make this, let's make it just for the month of February. So I'm going to go from 02, 02 that I said, 02, 01, 23 to 02, 28, 23, run it. And so the way this, the way this works is if you look at the trial balance here, let's run the trial balance on a side by side, month by month. And if you run your trial balance in as of the end of January, and your January numbers tie out to our January numbers, then if then the difference between January and February is reflected by the transaction detail report, meaning if all of your transactions in this report match ours, then we have to be at the same end point, which is gonna be February. Now it's a little bit difficult to, to kind of check all your numbers on the transaction detail report, because as we saw before, it has just the date, the transaction, the, the name, and then the account, the primary account, and then the split account is a little difficult to see sometimes because sometimes they just have a split if there's more than two accounts affected. But this gives us a, a nice quick summary that you can look at and, and say, okay, if there's something on my side that isn't on your side, then uh, you, might need to, you might need to expand the date range and see if it's a date issue. And then you might need to add that if there's something on your side that's not on this side, then you want to see what happened. Is it a duplicate transaction or was it miskeyed or something like that? And then check your numbers in that way. Uh, this is also a good report for, like I say, billing possibly because you might try to bill someone instead of by hour by how many transactions you enter.